we are just weeks away from our eighth anniversary evolution. It is shaping up to be one of the biggest events in IW history. Welcome into Impact Television. I'm your host, Big DA, and last Saturday night, we had a great main event here in the Impact Arena, and we're going to show it to you here tonight. The fans in attendance, fan at watch on GFL.tv, saw a great matchup on what was a really interesting night, considering that Brandon Bishop and Sean McHale were gone, well, they went and saw a play. Brandon, Brandon Bishop and Sean McHale, you heard me right, they went and saw a play, because Aaron Neal gave them the night off. So in charge, the number two for the evening, I guess you could say, was one big picture Damon Winter. Damon Winter decided to, to give his friend's nemesis a little bit of a tune-up and maybe try and, and shut up Double D and Jermaine Johnson. And as we're gonna show you in our main event, fans, as the fans saw last Saturday night, didn't quite go the way that Damon Winter would have hoped. But as I said, May 12th, our eighth anniversary, Coronation, that man in the main event, teaming up with a returning natural born leader, Johnny V, to take on Aaron Neal, the IW Heavyweight Champion of the World, and Commissioner Brandon Bishop. A big main event, Brandon Bishop still not at all concerned with the health of Johnny V, but if you know Johnny Z, you know Jermaine Johnson, they wouldn't just make this match on a whim. They wouldn't walk into this lightly. Those two have a plan, and I have a feeling Johnny Z is going to be 100% ready for May 12th at Fortnite. And someone else who's ready, Jermaine's tag team partner last Saturday night, Double D, who gets a chance to a, a twofold, get some revenge on Jordan Jacobs after everything he's been through these past few months. I'm not going to rehash it all. You fans know the dastardly acts of Lights Out Jordan Jacobs. That's exactly how he got that name. I mean, let's, let's face it. But to avenge the loss of the Impact Division title match at March Mayhem and become the 2012 Impact Player of the Year and get that guaranteed title shot. The first time ever the Impact Player of the Year has been contested in a ladder match. Double D, Jordan Jacobs, gonna have to climb the ladder, reach up, grab the cup, and get the guaranteed shot at the World Heavyweight title. And speaking of coronation, two men that certainly look to have their work cut out for them. Nemesis challenging the old school suckers for the IZW tag team title. And I say work cut out for them because as we've seen these past few weeks, and as we'll see in this matchup that we saw last Saturday night, not yet or maybe ever on the same page for Nemesis. And it never was more clear than really what you're about to see. And I was joined for our main event last Saturday night by our, our well, our boss for the evening, I guess, Damon Windsor. And he, he broke the whole Nemesis thing down to brother's fight and it will be okay. But uh, the fans that have seen this, it, I mean, look at this. How many times have we seen the patented Nemesis entrance? But no, Rage Logan dismisses Damon Winston. I mean, well, really, look at that. He dismissed his tag team partner. So he could get up there and get all the glory for himself and look at how hot Damon Winston was. I think there's a real deep-seated problem here. And it is going to take a lot for these two to get on the same page and be able to defeat the old school stuff that those tag team guys. A jam-packed house once again last Saturday night. Fans all over the world watching on GFL.tv and they saw a great match. And you, I mean, you really, you're in for a treat here at Sound Impact Television. We're gonna, the whole show, we're gonna show you this match. And it was a great back and forth action. Referee Mark Wilson instructing both teams. You see, you see Rage Logan letting letting Damian Morte know, hey, you know, you dropped the ball a lot. Let me let me handle the start of this matchup. And you'll notice a lot from Dam from Damian Morte in this match. You know, he he really 
he, he almost is in another gear, you know, trying to, to maybe prove the naysayers wrong. And by naysayers, I mean the, the likes of Rage Logan and my broadcast colleague for our main event last Saturday night, the big picture, Damon Wynn. There's, there's not a lot of people that doubt the talent of Damian Morte. It, it just seems like maybe maybe Rage Logan's kind of giving him a bad rap for some of these losses that have kind of piled up lately. And you know, I mean, we, we know the whole missed incident that cost him the tag team titles, but you know, hey, it's like the old saying goes: takes two to tango. They hadn't tried to cheat and use the mist, never would have happened. And this crowd last Saturday night letting everyone know they were behind Double D and Jermaine Johnson. Double D so focused lately on winning that Impact Player of the Year tournament. And as I said, not just the Impact Player of the Year tournament, but getting the chance to go up against Lights Out Jordan Jacobs, our Impact Division champion, in one of the most brutal matches in wrestling, a ladder match. Sure to be complete chaos in that matchup. Rage Logan did a great job early on trying to keep Double D grounded. We saw the headlock takeover. Rage Logan, he can fly, he can wrestle you on the ground. There's not a lot he can't do. What a, what a big night it was last Saturday. As I said, Damon Windsor put in charge by Commissioner Brandon Bishop. And given the night off by our heavyweight champion, Aaron Neal, and it was a big night for Aaron Neal, too. Let's not forget about that. And a, a big a big change of complexion for our, our Queen's Quarrel match at Coronation. And we're going to add that in, too. Star, Star won't be competing in the women's four-way matchup because there, there is no more Star. Star is now Venus. And fans in the Impact Arena completely shocked with the, the new look of, of Venus, I guess is what we call her now. I mean, still I want to call her Star, but she's very adamant about it. She is now Venus, and she is the queen and has determined that Aaron Neal is her king. And poor Bobby Star. I, I never saw that. I'd say those words in my life, but you know, we, we all knew all along that Star was just you know, using him, but... You know what I mean? That man had his heart ripped out and stomped on in the middle of this ring last Saturday night. It really was a, a sad thing to watch. But now our women's four-way, the Queen's Quarrel, Miss Dyslexia, Kira Maya, the Lady of Impact Erica, and now Venus competing for the official title of Queen of IZW. Another great matchup for Coronation. Evan Morgan also said that he wanted to have a, a few, well, not really words, but maybe a, a few broken bones with one Brian Cruz. That could definitely happen at Coronation, too. It's going to be a big event. You definitely don't want to miss it. And this is a, a big main event last Saturday night. We're showing you here. Damian Morte getting the tag from Rage Logan. Rage Logan decided to go outside and and maybe uh, take a break and try to kill some of this momentum that Double D and Jermaine Johnson had built up. Jermaine Johnson was right back on the attack. Beautiful Japanese arm drag. Fans, when we come back, we're going to show you the rest of this matchup and talk more about Coronation. Stick around because you do not want to miss it. Are you tired of the same old birthday party? Well, why not party with your favorite superstar? Have your own personalized entrance and much, much more. For more info, call 580-357-4911 and party like an IZW superstar. IZW has shattered your expectations and redefined entertainment. May 12th at IZW's Coronation, we break all barriers. The finals of the Impact Player of the Year Tournament, Jordan Jacobs takes on Double D in a ladder match. The first ever Queen's Coral to crown the official Queen of IZW. And the main event, the Bronze Bull and Brandon Bishop take on Jermaine Johnson and the returning Johnny Z. Live at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F. And live worldwide, IZW Coronation, Saturday, May 12th. The wait is over. The past, present, and future of Johnny Z will be released on DVD and now Blu-ray. May 12th at IZW's Coronation. 
relive some of the greatest moments in Johnny Z's career as you watch some of his biggest matches. Pre-order today and receive the two-disc set Blu-ray and the Johnny Z t-shirt for only $25. That's saving 40%. Take home the biggest boots. The hardest falls. The most unforgettable moments. And the biggest matches. The past, present, and future of Johnny Z. Available May 12th at IZW's Coronation. Pre-order today. There's no experience like IZW Live, not just for the high flying, targeting action every Saturday night. The Impact Arena records live for television tapings and broadcasts live around the world. Plus, free giveaways every week. There's nothing like the live IZW experience. You never know what might happen. So be at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F in London every Saturday night and witness IZW change the wrestling world. IZW Coronation is destined to conquer the world of professional wrestling on May 12th. With your $12 VIP membership, you won't miss a beat. With ringside seating, plus a chance to win a Windows 7 PC and a Windows 7 laptop. Show up at 5 p.m. to meet Nemesis. Or get the $20 VIP, where you get all this, plus the one night only Coronation t-shirt. That's half price. Call 580-357-4911 to reserve your seat for IZW's Coronation, Saturday, May 12th. Saturday, May 12th, fans, the 8th anniversary of IZW, it's Coronation, VIP tickets are going fast, get yours now, don't get left out in the cold, get a guaranteed ringside seat, the exclusive meet and greet with one half of our main event from last Saturday night that we're showing you here tonight, Nemesis, who could be, if things can can kind of work themselves out and they can be on the same page with you know maybe maybe just for one night only be on the same page they could be icw tag team champions as they face off with the coach gary tool and randy price the old school suckers for those tag team titles such a big night may 12th all you all know the huge return the return of the natural born leader johnny z gonna be in action Tagging with Jermaine Johnson, who you see there in the far corner, who was ready to get in the ring, get that tag from Double D last Saturday night. But tagging with Jermaine Johnson to take on the IZW Heavyweight Champion of the World, the Bronze Bull, Aaron Neal, and the Commissioner of IZW, Brandon Bishop. Since the, the day that Brandon Bishop walked back in the door here at IZW, we've waited for the moment when Johnny Z would be well, when the rehab on the knee would be done, and he could return to IZW and, and really stand face to face with Brandon Bishop with the history that these two have. And you can hear a lot of that history on the past, present, and future of Johnny Z that will be available at Coronation. A two-disc set includes some of Johnny Z's greatest matches. It's going to be a phenomenal piece of IW history to buy. You definitely want to be here. Be one of the first to get your hands on it. Speaking of getting your hands on things, Damian Morte, I told you earlier, he was almost in another gear. You know, he was really very uh, more aggressive than normal in the ring with the attack on Double D, really trying to, to maybe show Rage Logan that, hey, I can get the job done. I don't drop the ball. I'm a great tag team partner, and we can win the IW Tag Team titles. And I told you earlier, Jermaine Johnson chomping at the bit to get in the ring. He made the tag and went right to work on Damian Morte. Big back body drop, almost sending him out of the ring. And then one for Rage Logan as he came in, trying to do a little sneak attack on the former heavyweight champion. And fans, watch this. This is why you need to be here live every Saturday night. Lawton, Oklahoma, 10.09 Southwest F. Set in the front row. You never know, Jermaine Johnson come flying right in your seat like he did right there. But we weren't done yet. You hear the crowd. The crowd wanted to see it. Double D, the high flyer. Jermaine Johnson setting up the pins. Double D springboarding and knocking him down. Double D in the zone. Ready for his big ladder match. May 12th at Coronation. 
live here in the Impact Arena, live on GFL.TV. Double D and Jordan Jacobs, one of those men gonna climb that ladder, grab the 2012 Impact Player of the Year Cup, and get a guaranteed shot at the World Heavyweight title. You know, some, some past winners of that, I mean, you think about, about Aaron Neal, well, Aaron Neal is the Impact Player of the Year, two-time play Impact Player of the Year. It really is a, a huge stepping stone for someone like Double D, for someone like Jordan Jacobs. Get that guaranteed title shot and just propel yourself into the stratosphere of IZW. And I know we heard last week from Jordan Jacobs, he is ready. He doesn't believe in momentum. He says momentum is a lie. But I really feel momentum very strong with Double D right now. Especially after this matchup last week. Even not 100% on the same page, Nemesis, a very formidable tag team. With moves like that from Damian Morte. A cover and just a two count. This match was back and forth all night long. Jermaine Johnson found himself in the wrong part of town. But that's Tag Team 101 from Nemesis. Isolate your opponent. Keep the freshman in. Look at Rage Logan showing Double D. He can springboard crossbody with the best of them. Right on to Jermaine Johnson for a two count. As I said, Tag Team 101. Nemesis with the quick tag in and out of the ring. Pick your opponent and isolate him. Keep him as far away as you can from his own corner. You cut the ring in half. Don't let him cross that line. And last Saturday night, Nemesis did a great job of that. Until that point, Rage Logan with a little bit of showboating, a little bit of this attitude from Rage Logan we've seen lately. This, this greatness is spelled R-A-G-E, and it almost cost him right there. Shoulder first into the ring post. Jermaine Johnson made the tag to Double D. And now, you heard him, fans. Double D, Jermaine Johnson, showing the power, showing the strength. And it was on full display. Look at the, the hang time of Rage Logan, letting the blood rush to the head, dropping him down hard. Double D went right for the corner, but not yet. And fans, when we come back, we're gonna show you the conclusion of this matchup and what happened after. Stick around. IZW has shattered your expectations and redefined entertainment. May 12th at IZW's Coronation, we break all barriers. The finals of the Impact Player of the Year Tournament, Jordan Jacobs takes on Double D in a ladder match. The first ever Queen's Coral to crown the official Queen of IZW. And the main event, the Bronze Bull and Brandon Bishop take on Jermaine Johnson and the returning Johnny Z. Live at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F and live worldwide. IZW Coronation, Saturday, May 12th. Can't get enough IZW? Then take it home with you by visiting our merchandise stand and picking up your copy of the latest IZW DVD or for your new IZW t-shirt. And don't forget the snack down for concessions. Feed the impact. Feel the impact. IZW. Impacting Tattoo Studio. 1008 South 11th in Lawton. With the finest artists in Texoma, Impacting can handle any highly detailed custom or freehand artistry. Body modification also available. Dermals, corsets, even exotic piercings. Open daily, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Call 699-7530 and make an appointment. Walk-ins are always welcome. Impacting Tattoo Studio. 1008 South 11th in Lawton. The wait is over. The past, present, and future of Johnny Z will be released on DVD and now Blu-ray. May 12th at IZW's Coronation. Relive some of the greatest moments in Johnny Z's career as you watch some of his biggest matches. Pre-order today and receive the two-disc set Blu-ray and the Johnny Z t-shirt for only $25. That's saving 40%. Take home the biggest boots. The hardest falls the most unforgettable moments, and the biggest matches. 
the past, present, and future of Johnny Z. Available May 12th at IZW's Coronation. Pre-order today. IZW Coronation is destined to conquer the world of professional wrestling on May 12th. With your $12 VIP membership, you won't miss a beat. With ringside seating, plus a chance to win a Windows 7 PC and a Windows 7 laptop. Show up at 5 p.m. to meet Nemesis. Or get the $20 VIP, where you get all this, plus the one night only Coronation t-shirt. That's half price. Call 580-357-4911 to reserve your seat for IZW's Coronation, Saturday, May 12th. Back here with you, showing the main event from last Saturday night, made by our, well, the man in charge for, for one night only, I would assume, and number two, as he was known from Sean McHale that night, the big picture Damon Windsor, acting man in charge with Commissioner Brandon Bishop and Sean McHale, given the night off by one bronze bull, Aaron Neal, the IW World Heavyweight Champion, Damon Windsor setting up this match, giving his pals and nemesis a little bit of a tune-up, a chance to get ready for May 12th at Coronation when they face the IW Tag Team Champions, the old school suckers. A back and forth matchup. One of the many great matchups we saw last Saturday night. Be here every Saturday night. You never know what's going to happen. Because I guarantee you when the night started, Damon Windsor, for one, he probably had no idea he was going to be in charge. But for two, he probably had no idea things were going to turn out as badly for them as they did. And we're going to show you that at the conclusion of this match. I'm fairly sure it's probably a night that Damon Windsor is never going to forget. Jermaine Johnson feeling the height section. Getting back to his feet. Inches away from making that tag. But Nemesis, as I said earlier, Tag Team 101, isolate your opponent. Keep that ring cut off. And doing, well, maybe doing the dirty work of the Bronze Bull and Commissioner Brandon Bishop. Taking out what, what they feel will be a, a member of a handicap match at Coronation. And Brandon Bishop and Aaron Neal have, they really believe that Johnny Z is not going to be here, not going to be ready. But I, for one, feel that maybe they haven't done their due diligence. Maybe Brandon Bishop, and maybe he should have talked to Johnny Z's doctor or something. See if maybe he really is a clear. Because, you know, Johnny Z has been working hard, has been rehabbing, getting that knee ready to come back. And at Coronation, we're going to see Johnny Z team up with Jermaine Johnson and take on Commissioner Brandon Bishop and the IW Heavyweight Champion, the Bronze Bull, Aaron Neal. A moment that we have waited for since Brandon Bishop walked in the door as IW Commissioner. The history between himself and Johnny V, it's legendary. It's gonna come to a head, and how fitting that it comes to a head live May 12th, our anniversary show, our eighth anniversary for IZW. Coronation, a huge event. Damian Morte, the aggressiveness that we've talked about here tonight, staying on the attack, keeping the former heavyweight champion down on the mat. And now you saw Nemesis, maybe a little bit of the tricks of the old. No tag, referee Mark Wilson said he heard the sound. That was the sound, Damian Morte clapping his hands together. Rage Logan in the ring, and look at that. Rage Logan so innovative with his offense. Double D coming in to make the save. He had absolutely had enough of these tactics from Nemesis. And while the back is turned to the referee, Nemesis at their strongest, not afraid to bend and break the rules. Patented Nemesis tactics. And those type of tactics could make them IW Tag Team Champions May 12th at Coronation. Jermaine Johnson once again isolated in that bad part of the ring, that bad side of town, not where you want to be. Fighting back with one arm. Nemesis doing the damage, I'm sure much to the, the happiness of the Bronze Bull. Softening up Jermaine Johnson before their big main event tag team matchup at Coronation. 
Tickets going fast. You can't be here. You can check it out on GFL.tv. Wherever you do, make sure you see this event. Eight years in the making, fans. The return of the natural born leader, Johnny V. What more could you ask for in the eight year anniversary? Jermaine Johnson was so close once again to making that tag. Damian Morte hanging on to the leg. Jermaine Johnson taking so much punishment in this matchup. Rolling the wrong way. Double D e trying to let him know. Right over, right over here. Come make the tag. Damian Morte getting back to his feet. Almost stopped him, but not quite. Double D with the tag comes in, cleaning house. Double D fired up and ready. Jordan Jacobs, Double D in a ladder match at Coronation. Another great matchup we're going to see. Look at Double D go. Double D taking care of Rage Logan. Hurricane Rana out of the ring. Jermaine Johnson coming back in. And that was the point that Damon Windsor had had enough. Runs down to the ring. Tries to attack Jermaine Johnson from behind. But catches the wrong person. Poor Damian Morte. Wrong place, wrong time again. Cross body from Double D. And there it is, fans. Double D and Jermaine Johnson successful. Thanks to one Damon Windsor who was not happy about it put in charge by Commissioner Brandon Bishop and taking out his frustration on Double D. But Double D out of the way and certainly not what Damon Windsor envisioned. I, I told you, this wasn't what he wanted to see. This wasn't what he wanted to feel. Jermaine Johnson and Double D going to town on the big picture. Jermaine Johnson bringing him in. Swing and a miss, but Double D doesn't miss with that cross body. And keep your eye on the former heavyweight champ, Jermaine Johnson. Turn around, and there it is, right into an ES2. Damon Windsor, first night on the job being in charge, and what may have been his last night being in charge. Brandon Bishop cannot be happy. You saw Jermaine Johnson, the damage was done to that arm. He's gonna have to get healed up and get ready. Fans coronation just weeks away. Be here tomorrow night live in the Impact Arena to see what's gonna happen next. We will see you there.